So here we have the cocoon. This is the object of this demonstration project. And it's from cardboard, pressed cardboard, with a special wax uh, to withstand the water. As you can see, it's hollow, it's like a donut. Uh, first you plant the young sapling, the tree. You make sure that you put this around it, you fill it with water. Uh, these are the wicks that, are, that connect, uh, actually act as a transport device for the water towards the roots. You cover it with the lid. And finally, we have a protector that's being placed around the young sapling in order to help the growth of the young tree. It helps as well against animals like rabbits or other small animals that might want to take a bite from the tree. This is planted at level, at soil level, and it's covered with a little bit of sand or maybe a few stones just to make sure that the wind doesn't blow it away. So next to me you see the gateway, the communication channel for the different sensory equipment that we are applying in this demonstration project, the Green Link. With me I have one of these probes um, from a company called Sensoterra. We place them in the soil on different locations of the field and they will provide data on an hourly basis of the humidity at different soil depths. This will help us to better understand the the working of the cocoon and the effectiveness in terms of capillary re-establishment and the effectiveness of the cocoon at different soil levels and with different types of trees. So here you see one of the cocoons planted in the terrain. We always plant with autochthonous species and uh, this is an olive, uh, Arbequina olive, that's from Catalonia. Uh, we also have planted here Quercus ilix the holm oak inoculated with truffles, so to give an alternative income stream for the landowner, very important. In the rest of the project, we do a mix between, uh, let's say, more economic trees with economic benefits, and at the same time, uh, I would say, ecological trees that provide specific support for uh, anti-erosion or the attraction of wildlife or other benefits that uh, might be useful for the ecosystem. So together, that's a balance which is helpful for the landowner or the farmer or uh, the local governments in order to revalue their regions and create pockets of green in order to stop problems that have to do with the climate change and the continuous drying out of the southern part of Europe.